So we're going to use this template to create an S3 bucket using Amazon Web Services Cloud Formation Service. So looking at the template, we'll see the format of it. It's in JSON and we save it with the dot template extension. So we have resources where we actually see the assets that we want to provision. And then we have lower down, we have outputs and these are used to return values. So we can use these values in other parts of the cloud formation configuration. So under the resources, I've selected an S3 bucket and the type, which is set to AWS S3 bucket. And I'm only choosing one property. And we're going to put the bucket name in. And that bucket name will be snip bucket travel 1020818. Under the outputs, that will actually output the S3 bucket name. If you're looking for more properties you can use, the AWS website has a section on cloud formation where you can look at all the different resources and the properties that you can assign. So after creating our template, we now need to upload it to our S3 bucket. So I have one called text snip. And we'll just select the template that we created there. And there we can see our template is ready to go. So now if we go to the cloud formation service and we choose the option to create stack. So when choosing a template, you've got an option. You can design a template in the cloud formation designer, or you can choose a template. So you can select samples if you want, upload one to Amazon S3 or specify an Amazon S3 template URL. This is the option we're going to take. So to do that, we're actually going to have to go back into S3, go into our bucket, and you'll see the link there. We'll just copy that link, click on create stack again, specify the URL, and we'll paste that in. So now we click next. Now we get the stack name. So the stack name is the name you're going to assign to all the resources that are created within this template. So basically, when you deploy a template, a stack is created and that contains all your resources. So we'll call this one TechSnip. You can add a tag. We're going to leave that at the moment. And with permissions, I'm just doing this through the AWS administrator. You can assign an IAM role and also you can set up for rollback. We're not going to choose that at the moment. We're just going to take the default settings. So we'll click next. Now we're asked to create. So we just click on the create button. And if you refresh this, in events, you'll see the creation in progress of our S3 bucket. We can also have a look at the outputs. There's nothing there at the moment. And there you see the creation is complete. So if we have a look at outputs, and there you go, the key, which remember we defined in our template, which was S3 bucket name, and the value, which is our bucket called snip bucket treble one zero two zero one eight go back to events we can get the physical id and also the client request token we can look at resources and if we click on this link it will take us to our newly created bucket and there you go we click on amazon s3 and that's our bucket created using cloud formation thanks for watching this video